Good morning. Morning everyone. A little bit different format this morning. We're looking at the facilities here from the east, uh, the southern side. Yeah. Um, the sheds there at the bottom and then the retreat house. We are almost done inside renovating and painting and we're gradually moving to the outside. We've started with the roofs and uh, now we're going to the walls. Yeah, and so this is the south side. We have a, quite a windy and overcast morning, so excuse the sounds. And there might be a tractor sound <laughs> in the background. Yeah, but what we want to show you and talk about is this very old worker's hut, like a, a little dwelling of ironstone that sits against the, the foot of the of Tafelkop. And um, the plans that we have and the what we've discussed and wanted to do and changed our mind, so we would like to show you that a little bit closer. Just a view from here, from a, a windowless wall. <laughs> it's a beautiful view, but there's no window on this side of the worker's hut. That is Tafelkop and all its so There's George in front of the hut on the northeastern side with a very old, beautiful wooden door. And I'm going to try and go through this very thick kukuyu we're being um actually it's like a like a wave of kukuyu just growing and growing in summer so it's a bit of a thing to get through it and try and show you the inside and the low and the low roof george really has to bow his head and then the inside is completely blackened by soot. We've tried to wash it off, but it's it's like it's absorbed into the into the walls, into the stone. But it's beautiful actually. And there's a big old uh, what do you call it? A hearth. Hearth. A hearth. The one and only window. It says something of the climate of Tafelkop that instead of a window they build a, a <laughs> fireplace. <laughs> yes, and then there outside you can see how high the grass is. Yeah, and you see how uh, the, the height of the grass now and then the herd of cattle come in and they uh, graze it down like a, like a slate. Yeah beautiful old red door I think which should stay at all costs lovely so we've been thinking about what we want to do with this little building and we had George when we he saw it first he immediately said this is mine this is my my writer's hut and I think it's excellent for that but um, and then we were looking for a space for a chapel again and we thought that maybe this could rather be a chapel. Um, but one of the core motivations why we wanted to show you this also this morning, the clapping sound is one of the, the roof panels. And, and it's not stars the, that you're seeing, it's, it's holes the in the in corrugated the, iron. Yes, <laughs> but um, it's quite a, an organic process, uh, the renovation here at Tafoko, because we want to maintain something of the history and the age of this place. And we try to listen to the building methods and the stone and the beams and everything, the material. And we start with something and then gradually it grows into something. It announces itself mm. almost. And what we're thinking is that it will actually make a, a very beautiful hermitage. Mm. A little space where somebody can come for a longer period maybe. And uh, George is standing by the wall that, that actually needs a window on Tafelkop. And as you can see, Tafelkop. <laughs> So we would like to, to open it up a bit, but without really changing the character of, of, the, of the building. We really feel that we want to keep it for the purpose that it was uh, initially as a dwelling. And um, a very basic dwelling, and I think that's, that's the beauty of a hermitage. Mm. It's the simplicity of it. So 
yeah we just wanted to show you um this very little special place we it will only have get priority once we're done with a with a larger um, accommodation and the bigger house but we're looking forward to to tackling this as well so give us your thoughts on this so there's georgian so just an overview of one of our future projects we look constantly looking for projects <laughs> uh, to fill up uh, the empty spaces in our lives. They just announce themselves, <laughs> come rolling with a kukuyu. <laughs> yes, um, but just also share something of the process as things unfold and uh, they announce themselves and we try to honor that. Yeah, yeah, and we really hope to, to invite and welcome more of you here as well at some stage. So have a lovely week, everyone. Keep well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.